What's up guys, Alpine Gremlin again here, and it's more World of Tanks. Today we're taking a look at my IS-7 that I have recently purchased. It is a Soviet Tier 10 heavy tank. I have finally reached the end of the IS line. And we're playing a standard battle on the map Hills. Or no, not Hills, Mines. That's it. And to be honest, I... I'm not the best driver at it yet. I, I'm still, you know, looking around, but this is one of my better games that I've had. I do really like this thing. It doesn't have the thickest armor for a tier 10, about 150 on the front, uh, 140 on the sides, and about 100 on the rear. But it's if you look at it, it's incredibly well angled, so it can bounce a lot of shells that are, that are, especially if you angle it right, you can bounce it a lot. And that will save me, as you'll see. I'm going to over to the... Uh, to the little town area, that flank to defend that, because I don't see anybody going there, so I figure, uh, I'm a top tier heavy, I'll check that out. AMX 1390 over there scouting, I, I know I'm seen, but I still gotta keep pushing, I'm gonna, I just need to get to that hill over, to that rock over here on the side of the hill. The me all the mediums and lights have already gone up the hill, they're brawled, you see, we managed to take two of their already out. And at work, you can see that's that armor at work there. That IS-8 uh, was angled just so that he bounced off the side of my tank. And this is when I realized, well, there's a little bit more than I thought there was going to be over here. Um, there's an IS-8, which I do a good bit of damage to. Tracks me. An E-50M, and then you'll see later another IS-7 and then that ISU show up. So good bit over here. I'm going to get a solid hit into him. That really hurt, and look over there, AMX 1390. I designate him for my team just so they know what's coming, but I honestly cannot be worried about him right now. That's the job of the guys defending the base. They have to stop him because I need to focus on, you know, this squad of enemies that's coming up on me. So the ISU is backed off, uh, and I have to keep on... I'll light the IS-8 again, and I see he's good, good hit, good hit. He's, for some reason, I think he's, he's aiming for the TDs and all that. The IS-7 has a 130mm gun, um, so a little bit bigger than the IS-8's best gun, and the IS-4. Doesn't have as much pen, but it does about uh, 30, 40 more average damage. And I missed that shot on the IS-7. And I'm um, calling for help because it's, you know, three, it's uh, four, four on one at this point. And I would really like some assistance. And there's that, there's that armor again. It's really well angled. It's, it's thick armor that's really well angled. So it's, you know, enemies are going to have a time penetrating it. But the E-50's got plenty of pens, so he can get through me. I wasn't quite ready for him, so I wasn't angled as well. And IS-8 bounces again. I move out. Take out the IS-8, but I do get hit by the IS-7 in the process. But here I am backing up against the against the rock. And uh, if you, I'm behind me. There's a a T-30 is finally uh, finally getting some some more support. The T-30. There's TDs on the hills behind us as well, but I really don't think that they've done a whole lot this game. Ah, uh, they both got a kill, but. I mean, they weren't on guys over here. They're helping. They were helping the guys in the center. So I was kind of by myself. And the IS-7 bounced a shot off me. E-50 comes out again, but he sees an easier, an easier way to, to damage, to get damage, and he goes after the T-30 instead. Uh, but now we do have, we do have the support of our tank destroyers at this point. So they are a little bit more cautious about coming around this corner. And I just need to get a spot. I really want to spot that IS-7. And it costs me. That was a stupid move of me. They jam my jam my turret and the E-50 hits me in the lower glacies. Got a dead driver and a damaged turret. Repair the turret. Revive the driver. Because this thing is a, an absolute pig without a good driver. So... I'm basically one shot for every single one of those guys. Maybe not the E50 if he gets a low damage roll, but 
Uh, the IS-7 and the ISU, definitely, if they penetrate. So I gotta be a little bit more careful here. I do have that T-30's big gun behind me, though, so that's a little bit... It's a little bit, uh... And I bounce on the IS-7. That's a little bit, uh, you know... Uh, so, IS-7 goes for the easier kill, goes for the T-30, and it's gonna cost him. He gets tracked by our TDs, and got a free shot on his side armor. Second kill of the game. So now that E-50 and the ISU are the, are the only two left over on this side. There's a STI and a Object 268 in, the, in their base. And they go down fighting as well. But here we, uh, here we've got the E50. WZ, our WZ-132 is taking some sh shots at him from the hill. But I'm not rushing him because he can get around me and hit me in the side, and that won't be good. Good hit on ISU. Uh, I don't even bother aiming in, and I hit him. The gun's pretty accurate, and th this in this game. My crew is, o is only around 93% or so, but still, uh, pretty good pretty good accuracy for a Soviet gun. It's actually got some decent gun depression too, which was surprising to me. Which is not a thing with Soviet heavy tanks. So, Object 268 is moving up on the flank. In the E-50, you can see him he's getting a little bit nervous. 268's uh, moving up on him. I move out. I'm going to move out in a second. I'm just seeing if the E50 won't come out from behind that to avoid the 268. But when I see he's not he's not going for it, I am start to move up. Just got to just gotta hope he doesn't come out and take a quick cheap shot at me because that would not be good. But there he is. I aim in a little bit. Take him uh, down to 348 HP. And the 268 tracks him. With, and he's got his side armor right to me, so good night. So now we've only got the 268 and the STI to worry about. Don't know where the object 268 is, so I'm not going to move out until I've seen him. The STI and, and the Leuve are having a little bit of a battle going on there. I would hope there's the 268. I know he's not in a position to shoot me, so I'm going to move up. And I'm kind of hoping our Artie does something, but it really hasn't. Um, the M40, M43 got taken out pretty early in the game. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. But this uh, Lorraine 155-51 is not doing too hot. So it's kind of up to the actual tanks on the team to finish this. I could go for the cap, but it would be a lot easier and less damaging if... We just go ahead and kill them. So I'm gonna peek around this corner. There's a 268. Got it. I'm gonna get a nice solid hit into his side armor. 589. This gun is does this gun packs a serious punch when it penetrates. It does a lot of damage. 130 millimeters. I mean, yeah, that, that's gonna hurt. 268 just uh, kind of hits the Lorraine arty so it doesn't do any damage. This guy's looking pretty good. Uh, 268 is not looking pretty, is not looking too hot though. And here he comes, coming up to charge me. Fire. Boom. All right. So uh, the STI is all that is that all that remains. Object 268 on my team goes around. He's gonna hit him in the side. I can't save the, the Lerva, but I am I will avenge him. Track him, hoping already does a couple does some damage to him, but he misses. Two six eight comes around, hits him right in the right in the rear armor. Boom, that hurt. So now it's up to me, and I take the finishing shot. Six kills, top gun, and I ended up getting the mastery badge, ace tanker, out of this. So anyway, guys. That uh, that does it for this replay. Uh, that was my my second tier ten 
It's a little bit difficult to it's a little bit more difficult to play than a medium tank. Especially because heavies aren't exactly my thing. But I already know about angling and all that, so hopefully I can only get better. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.